Okay, so let's take a look at making video recordings because that's a really powerful part of XSplit. Um, one of the things you can do is anything that is in the scene is going to be recorded, okay? So um, first of all, it's very easy to record. You can hit the cog here and set it up for H.264 would be my recommendation. And quality, I would just test to see if anything starts blipping, but you want to go as high as you can without maxing out your CPU usage. To do that, excuse me, to do that, you can also look at your task manager and um, see, you know, where your performance in your computer is. You don't want to go over like 70 or 80 percent. Okay, so try a recording. And um, when we hit record, we go ahead and hit local record. You can see it's recording locally. It says it right there. It tells you if there's any frames being dropped. And once you're done recording, it's actually stored in your recording. So if you go to tools and recordings, it's actually stored right there. So that is the recording that we just made. Pretty cool, huh? Um, so if I double click these, it opens it up in VLC. That's a recording we just made. Here's another one. So we can actually drag and drop these into, um, we can actually go ahead and go in here and do, one of the things I really like is the open file location. So you can go ahead and hit that, and drag and drop it in. The other thing you can do, which is kind of interesting, is the express edit. And that's a cool portion of XSplit where you can actually go in and start editing portions of your video. Uh, and I haven't seen any other platforms have an editing platform inside, but we'll look at that in another video. That's how easy it is to do recordings. Click to watch another exciting PTZ Optics video. And don't forget to subscribe. Tune in Fridays at 11 a.m. Pacific, 2 p.m. Eastern to join our live show with new industry experts interviewed every week.